are all human clones who grow old and die in 13 days. So welcome to a chapter as pride. But as long as we have our X keys and score points, we can extend as many times as we want. And so humanity went extinct, leaving only the eight of us alive. I was getting used to this game's rules, but part of me still thought it was all one long dream. Or maybe, maybe that was just wishful thinking, because I think more than anyone, I want to go back to that place, but someday I'll have to face the truth. I need to acknowledge this new reality and live through it. I understand that, and yet I just can't accept it deep down. The line about 13 day lifespan makes me think of Vareshka. Yep, yeah, I basically said this is Duncan Vareshka. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The knave of hearts, he stole the tarts and took them clean away. Well, at least this one end, one end with the terrible monkey pun. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts. And vowed he'd steal no more. Harto was sloth. Ah, uh, a whole lot of internal voicing is Jackman. This is going to be good. <clears throat> is my family gone now too? Oh, have they become creatures? They have, very likely. I'm sitting here betting all se being all sentimental when someone knocks on the door. And then I hear a voice call for me. Good morning. Good morning, officer. Got a minute. What? Zen? I'm surprised to see him visit me so early in the morning. Did something happen? Ah, uh, wholesome. Yeah, I just want to point out, okay? Do you remember Zen's first video and how wholesome that was? I put the photo back into my police ID notebook. Quickly fix my hair, then leave the room. Thanks. Sorry to wake you. Well, it looks like he's running middle age right now, so... Time has passed between the uh, the events Luck again, so it's kind of reset our clock for people. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the uh, 17 months, Bowman. Welcome back. Let me see some love and hype in chat for Bowman, please. Yeah. It's checkmate. She's my favorite character. I'm afraid it won't be true after this chapter. I don't know, I like Zen more after watching him beat Monkey Dad to death. Good morning. It's fine, I was already awake. Well, it's rare for you to come wake me up like this. Let me find some new ruins or something. Well. Oh, there's something I want to show you. Can you come with me? It's near the toilets. Mm -hmm. Sure, but the toilets? I don't know. I'd like to talk to you alone, so I'd appreciate it if you hurry over. I'll be waiting. He looks a bit shy as he quickly leaves the scene. What? What was that face just now? So confused about what, Choco Cutter? Paris and Mamaru and uh, Rinka, I'm very scared for the future. Every... Everything about everyone so far just gets progressively worse the more we know, but... But I like all of them more as we're getting through their stuff. What I'm curious about, though, is... How are they going to top Wrath? Because Wrath was just a twisted clusterfuck of a story. What was that face just now? He wants to talk alone? So much for feeling sentimental. Feeling shaken, I nervously follow Zen. And then I was murdered behind the toilet. That filthy, dirty toilet that no one uses anyways. Probably stash a body there for a while. More or less need to play catcher because I missed some casts. Ah, well, in a nutshell... Every, uh, every chapter is from a different person's point of view. We completed Haruto, so Sloth is complete. We got our first machine part. We completed uh, Zen, so we got another machine part. We're slowly putting the extended machine back together. And once it's complete, it's supposed to bring back everyone and end our aging. Yeah, the cop is pride. Our hell spawn toilet.
One day we'll make it better. What? What the? When did you? Mine Zen is a product of civilization, which we haven't seen in a long time. No, it's small. There's no mistaking it. Hey! Zen, is this a farm? Yeah. Yep, it is. Found some naturally grown vegetables and fruits here, so I tidied them up a bit. They grow the veggies next to the toilet? Uh, I mean, fertilizer. Let's be real. Is that a scare Haruto? Yes. Yes, it is. It's a sloth crow. <sighs> well, I guess it's more of a kitchen garden than a farm. Huh. You did all this yourself? I would have helped if you'd asked. No, no, no. Hey, I might have wilted if other people touched them. Preparation is the most important step. Oh, my. This is so great. I'll be getting tired of just eating meat all the time. Heresy. Have you told the others? I bet they were thrilled. No. Look at the bright side. Even if you can track something like gout, when you die, it'll go away. Nope, not yet. I want to show you before anyone else. What? What's going on? Could it be the Zen likes? See? I need you to stand guard after all. Stand guard. You know. Want to sell here by the garden? Someone might come and steal some of it. I'm telling you. That's why I was hoping you'd watch over it, so you can protect my precious vegetables. What? No, hold on. Why do we need anyone on guard? Are we thinking of keeping all this for yourself? No. No, this is for all of us, of course. Crops will grow thanks to everyone's help, after all. But I want to be the one who chooses when they'll be harvested. Yeah. Proper control is crucial when it comes to farming. An amateur might not understand that. Is the numbers how much they've died? No, it's which version of them we're on. So for instance, right now we're on Haruto Mark IV. It's our fourth Haruto. Hey, Naldaro, butter knife, how you doing? What'd you miss? Uh, we did the entirety of, um, well, almost the entirety of Wrath's dungeon yesterday. It was, uh, it was a trip. What happened to Yuma? Oh, everyone gained some, uh, some count because I murdered everyone intentionally. Uh, death as a child earns you an extra day as an adult, so I sort of made the rounds murdering all the children. But, you know... Yeah, but I don't think anyone here would actually steal food. Hmm. Oh, yes, yes. <sighs> yeah, that, that's the other thing that happened to Yuma. Uh, we found her allergy. Turns out it's potato salad. It killed her instantly. The best part I found out. Spike Chunsoft's localization was watching at the time we did it. <laughs> so they got to see us kill Yuma with potato salad. I actually passed the clip along to my uh, my contact is Spike Chunsoft and I said, yeah, the localization team was watching what happened. Death by potato salad is the best. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Ay, ay. <clears throat> Hang on, I thought I saw a question roll by. Do I keep older streams on YouTube or somewhere? The answer is yes and no. Um, I have an archive of streams dating back about four years. Uh, some of it is on YouTube. Not a lot of it. Mostly because I rarely have time to uh, actually do the editing work. Um, but all of Danganronpa 1 and 2 are up, and I'd like to get Danganronpa 3 up sometime soon. I think most of the VODs for that are also still archived on Twitch um, under our highlights. But yeah, there's, there's a fraction of stuff up on YouTube compared to what we actually have stored on my computer. <laughs> Yo, Madam Missy. Uh, maybe they wouldn't steal food, but they might pick some as a snack without permission. <laughs> I need a Kirby with Yuma's hair. Hey. You stand for Laura and Arthur, right? Please, whenever you feel like it is fine. How about we held that piece of glass together? Listen. Was oh, that supposed to be a bonding experience? The time that I totally stopped you from killing yourself? Besides, my so-called sense of law and order, what have they really protected? All right. Well, I haven't done much as a police officer so far. I guess it won't hurt to patrol once in a while. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd agree. 
All right, someone might have to remind me later. I think I think maybe I'll see if I can whip up a uh, Kirby with Yuma hair. And then shows off his trademark carefree smile. I thought I got to know him a little better from the last ruin, but I guess I still don't understand you one bit. What? Uh, what do you mean? I sigh, then hear someone yelling over at the garage. I don't think we've had pro tag uh, Jackman voice since. Um... Oh man, I don't know. Would it have even been Lustus, Lustus Jackman from the uh, Strange Journey run? It, I think pro tag didn't really have much many voice lines though. Nice Vonic. Yes, that is a Haruto Scarecrow. Why do you need a Kirby with Yuma hair? Um, because that's the first thing I thought of when they talked about who might steal from the garden. I just kind of imagined Yuma inhaling the garden, and then I realized Kirby Yuma is pretty much exactly what it is. I wonder what all the ruckus is about. Maybe another cockroach shut up in Rio's room. Well, let's go find out. Need to tell him about the garden and divide up the work? What? No need for that. I can do it all myself. What? And you said the crops will grow with everyone's help. You know. Oh, it's not what I meant. I meant this. Send points to the toilets. I'm telling you. The vegetables will grow thanks to everyone's fertilizer. That's why I made it next to the toilet. Called it. No, I get it. This this is a normal thing. Even before the world ended, we humans have used animal fertilizer to grow crops. But still, I stand there absentmindedly for a minute or so. We have a garden. She'll eat anything? Oh yeah, she, yeah, she, she eats a lot. Food items will appear in the surrounding area over time. Excellent. What is this? Haruto Scarecrow is so cute. <laughs> yep, it's a Haruto. Look at that. I think the update on the extend machine should be done. Hey, hey! Hey, let's go find it. It totally must be somewhere in the ruins. Sachi. What's up, Sachi? Did you lose something in the ruins? No. Oh, it's about the new function that was added to the extend machine. Yeah. Huh. <clears throat> you mean Cleon transplant? Oh, is oh yeah, we're finally getting to this. So whose story arc are you on now? Thank you for the bits, Bill. We are on Minimo, the cop. So we don't get to see the cute cop at all for the uh, the duration of this chapter, but we just get to be her. Nami Zen finds Haruto the most scary. I think it's his way of poking fun back at uh, Haruto because of all the people, Haruto is the one who, like when we were playing as Zen, who kind of engaged us the most. And we fired a few shots back and forth. I think Zen gets the last laugh with the Scarecrow. Time to necktie and mustache people to death. Pretty much. I think now we can actually make use of those strange things we've been picking up from the bosses. <clears throat> we found the C button in Monkey Treehouse Village. When we installed it, it unlocked a mysterious option called Cleon Transplant. I think you're like totally supposed to put the Cleon in here. Sachi navigates the machine and the vat opens like a cash register. Let's go! See, it totally God says please insert Cleon on the screen too. So let's go find it. Like it's Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Uh how that actually, I mean on that on that topic, how is our audio balance in general right now? I, uh, I checked the VOD from uh, from yesterday and was surprised to find that like the mic base seemed way up. What's a Cleon again? We don't know. Well, we collectively in the game do not know. I know because it was covered in my review content. But uh, I figured not going to touch on any of the stuff that was in that package until we actually get to it in the game because, you know, best way to do things, right? Why does she have prosthetics when she's a clone? We don't know yet. Someone raised the question about it. And as a test, I killed her once. That's why we're on Sachiko Mark II. Uh, but she came back exactly that age with those parts. Um, anyways, the reason I specifically asked for the stuff to be dropped into Discord is because I'm going to lose it in chat here. So if I'm going to pull any quotes specifically, I'll pull them from Discord. 
But general thoughts, I mean, I think I've already passed along that generally everyone is kind of floored by the game. No one saw it being as good as it turned out to be. Fuck. Now hold on, Sachika. You even know what a Cleon is? They're not in the seas around here. Um... I've only seen them on TV. Those little white sea creatures, aren't they? Yes. A genus with sea slug known as the Rift Ice Angels. They're marine organisms living in cold climates. Oh, we commented on Drift Ice Angels once uh, in the past. And how it just sounded like an amazingly kind of edgelord Twitch name. Hmm. Judging by that description, probably not found in the waters here. Why don't you give up? How's that? Oh, whatever. This is related to the mission somehow. Like, something we'll find in the next ruins. Did we get to Yuma's story? No. Nope, the uh, the people we have been so far, Harto, Zen, and now we are uh, we are Minamo. I suspect, my theory is that if the Mashiro group actually does have anything to do with the stuff that's going on, uh, then odds are Yuma's story will be further in because she may have more overall answers to shed light on things. Really want to give Spike Chunsnop a sub just for this game right now. Uh, I mean... I'm pretty sure they, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I know they have a, an account on Twitch. <laughs> um, the next ruins, huh? I kind of want to see it, but I kind of don't. It's been a few days since we cleared the treehouse ruins, but new ones haven't drifted in yet. Wait a minute. I wonder if the next ones will be related to someone here too. I do, I'm liking the other, oh, well, yeah, right, just got a house. How is that going, by the way? Getting stuff moved in? Presumably. First Aruto, then Zen. Now I'd say it's very likely. <sighs> they say everything that happens twice will surely happen a third time. Hmm. In any case, all we can do now is wait for Extend TV or the ruins to drift it. God See? damn. I can hear it. Well, speak of the devils. Earphones greater than underscore greater than. Damn, thank you for the bits, Bill. God damn, dude. Ah. Uh, there's like a legal precedent for just like kicking snoring people, right? I was actually on a, uh, I was on a plane once with somebody uh, who was snoring so loud that um, the uh, the flight attendants handed out um, free earplugs to everyone around them, and uh, and then kicked them awake. Oh. I wonder what this is. Yeah, I mean, here's the killer. Hey, kids! It's time for Extend TV! It's sobering me up. I don't know if this is good or bad. At least you didn't have to deal with three screaming babies long. Thankfully, no. Thank you for the fits, Phil. Uh, but to give you an idea of just how loud that snoring was, Bakana no? Bakana no no. Bakana no no. Cheers and welcome. To give you an idea of just how loud it was, I was sitting at the very back of the plane, you know, where the engine's basically the loudest, typically, and you can't really hear anything. I like taking that seat because it dissuades people from trying to talk to me on flights. He was louder than that. Much louder. It's been a while. How are you all doing? Now that you conquered those ruins, Think of it as a day off and get some good rest. It's strangely depressing when you spend an entire day off doing nothing at home, isn't it? It is for me. It's as if your HP is recovered, but your MP is depleted for some reason. Hey, Mirai, when are the next ruins going to show up? Well, actually, the new ruins have already appeared. Uh, how'd they get behind me? Who are you even fighting with? Just look at the monitor. See? A new machine part was detected. All right. Huh? But the reading is coming from Mashiro Garden Tower. Oh, do we have access to the lower area now? Did they fix the elevator? Or maybe we can break through that wall finally. This thing's broken. We already got the part there, Mirai. <laughs> no, it's not broken. Remember? We still haven't checked underground. 
The next part is at Mashiro Metro Plaza. There we go. It's a trendy shopping district located just beneath Mashiro Garden Tower. Ooh, interesting. All right, should be able to find some decent stuff here. What? Penny dropping assistant? That is anything but you, show. You don't even wear panties, Mirai. You're saying it wrong on purpose, aren't you? By the way, how do we get underground? I don't remember seeing any stairs leading down there. This is the entrance. Do you all recognize it? Ah, it's the wall. Thank you for the bits, Bill. Oh, that's right. It was, uh, on the first, uh, I mean, second. Or there was it go. the third floor? Oh, God. What is that a link to, Bill? I'm just going to throw that in chat for other people. I'm not going to let it run because I do not want my content muted. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, man. It's okay to get it wrong, you know. This is on the first floor of Mashiro Garden Tower. There's a path to an underground shopping district beyond the fishy looking wall by the restrooms. Now hold on a minute. They would need to break that wall down to get through there. How are they gonna do that without using a bomb or something? Well, I think we all expected that reference eventually. <laughs> That's where the Cleone come in. Oh, well now we have pronunciation of that, Cleone. Cleone? Remember the tentacles growing out of those creatures? Those are called Cleone. Such a charming name for its weird appearance, don't you think? That's what makes it so cute. I had a nightmare once where this stream had a laugh track. Oh, dude. <laughs> can you can you imagine me running a laugh track or treating less like a sitcom? Oh my god. That's horrifying. I occasionally have like just grade A streamer nightmares. Stuff that like shouldn't matter to anyone, but it's just like horrifying if you're a streamer. Oh, you mean like a Matamata -mata turtle? Which looks like a cute turtle before stretching its neck. And what's this Cleone thing supposed to do? I'm sure by now you all know firsthand how powerful Cleone can be. Cleone have been a thorn in your side, but... Now, as a new feature of the Extend Machine, you can transplant them into your own bodies. So this means you can use the awesome power of Cleone to knock down that suspicious wall. <laughs> Even I'm too surprised to respond. <laughs> Something that actually shuts show up. What's up with your voice? No, wait! So now we love Grafty and Horror now. This taste CLZ is the taste of a liar! Wait, did he just lick the lamb? Thank you for the bits, Claymore. When were we not Lovecrafty and Horror, really? Listen here, you little fox. But I'm a sheep. If a Cleone is part of a creature, it should disappear oh God, when the it's a creature JoJo dies. Reference. <clears throat> There's no way you could transplant something like that. How dare you lie to me? Does it mean Zangus the creepy mustache? Oh God, can you imagine doing that to him? Whoa, calm down. Cleone are organisms that are independent from creatures, so they don't disintegrate. Huh? Oh god, this is gonna get weird, isn't They're it? They're parasites, providing their tentacles power in exchange for energy from their hosts. So now you know what a Cleone is. If we start using isn't these things... Love track basically this? Actually, I guess it kind of is, isn't it, Bill? Thank you for the fits. So... If we start using these things, am I gonna have to update... Our, our bit jar, so instead of her being dead, she's just like throwing the double guns instead. Wow, they get to live off a host? Lucky! But couldn't a transplanted Cleone completely take over the host's body? Don't worry, the X key has a special function that keeps Cleone in check. But they'll need to use it wisely, or the Cleone could go out of control. Interesting. 
Really? I wonder what would happen if a normal person used it. Oh, maybe they turn into a creature. Just kidding. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. This sounds horrifying. What are you talking about? It's just tactical use of parasites. Thank you for the biscuit, Gary. Just knows the new bitch are. Yep. I wanted something more appropriate to the game. I felt that fit. Didn't you get killed by a client in the beginning? I did. Two of us did, in fact. Which is why the big cup is what it is. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I think I might have to give the tie to Rinko just as a matter of irony. This is crazy. It was supposed to be a joke. Did I just end up stumbling upon the truth? You're thinking out loud again. We already tactically used death. How bad can using parasites the same way go? Right. And honestly, if we are consumed by the parasite, there's probably a Shigabani for that fit, anyways. Just like the tentacle fit through Rinko's chest. Well, much like the tentacle, I did have to make some room to get that in there properly. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Claymore. Aim for a creature's tentacles with a charge attack to obtain its Cleone. Well, we've done that plenty. The weakened Cleone will separate from its host and curl up into an egg-like shape. Just take one of those round Cleone, stick it in the machine, and you're good to go. Zone lemma, zone lemmy, zone lemma. Now, let's <laughs> Thank go you for the find bits, some Cleone <laughs> along with those machine parts. Remember, kids? Illuminate. A brighter future. For humanity. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. One of these days, I expect him to do the bye-bye and Mirai to just shoot him in the head. Didn't think the game could get any weirder or more horrifying. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's be realistic here. Did Danganronpa not manage to escalate things with every trial? I am counting on continued escalation here. Thank you for the bits, King Kiri. And Bill. Why do I got a feeling sticking the client into the machine is a horrible idea? Well, I guess we're about to find out. It's a lie! Oh my god. I love that our clip of that turned up in some random compilation on YouTube of people's reactions to that moment. Which we won't mention what it was because we still retain a moratorium on Danganronpa spoilers. Because, you know, respect. Humans turn into clones when infested with Cleone. This is the revelation they hinted at in Extend TV. Little by little, we're maybe getting closer to solving the mysteries of the world. Link to the YouTube video, but I have no idea where it is. Right in the palm of someone's hands. Well then. So, to wrap up this episode, next machine part is underneath Mashua Garden Tower. To get there, we need Cleone. These are the two main points. Problem is... Right. Better or not Cleone are edible? Uh, you'll get a stomach ache for sure. Also, it might wind up coming out of you the same way we went through Rinko. Hmm. So the problem is, someone would need to transplant a Cleone into their body. <sighs> uh, Cleone sounds like a cute name, but they seem more like drift ice devils than angels. Dr. Mamaru. There's a doctor. You think this is really possible? I wonder. Just what makes a transplant successful? I don't even know that much. At the very least, I know I can't do the job, even if I had the most up-to-date equipment. But... But it sounds like the extend machine is totally going to do it for us. But... Even if it can, what if it turns us into creatures? You shouldn't. We want to avoid that at all costs. Worst case, we'd end up fighting each other. But... But if we're to listen to the show, we can't get to the next room unless we transplant Cleone. We may need to give it a try at the very least. No, oh, we can't get to the next ruins. Naruto's words are inspiring my resolve to do something. I agree. I'll do it then. I'm pretty sure this is Cleone egg they mentioned. Here! Oh, that's the thing they were talking about on TV. Good. Grabbed it after we beat the creature. Uh, I guess it wasn't edible, but it could be used as fertilizer. Listen here. No way, food or fertilizer. That thing doesn't belong in someone's mouth. Oh. All right, that reminds me. Thanks to Zen, Garage Island's got a farm now. Eh? What? A farm? Yeah. It's just a small garden, strictly using a natural farming method. Amazing! 
so we can like eat vegetables from now on? Thanks, Zen. <clears throat> I'm a what, Kinkiri? Oh, is that the video? Wait, did she? <laughs> Numa, I think you're being a bit hasty. So this garden, where did you make it? Your favorite one the next dungeon is yet? Yes! We got our new, uh, our new upgrade. And, uh, we got ourselves a little farm. And we're heading back to Mashiro Garden Tower. Anytime you start eating too much, just feed her some potato salad. Uh, I can't anymore. She developed an immunity to her allergy after she died from it. See? Yeah, tell them where the garden is and the reason it's placed there. Not as if my magic Rinko and everyone else seem to be frozen in time. Just like with me, it takes them a minute for the toilet magic to wear off. Um... Well, you got a little off topic there, but... Zen, do you really intend to be a guinea pig for this? That's right. That's the only way we're getting that machine part, right? No one else seemed to be willing. But... We don't know how dangerous this could be. We should talk this over before Zen. we decide. Hey, Zen. You mind letting me handle this? Eh? What? Yep. I can only be a cop during times like this by putting myself on the line. No, no, no. There are no police or public servants anymore. I picked it up, so I'll do it. Um... Well, this isn't just because I'm a police officer. The next ruins are most likely related to me. What? Why do you think that? My dad used to run a bento shop in Mashiro Metro Plaza. Plus, I know that shopping center well, and have some uncomfortable memories about that place. So I'm pretty sure Extend TV is gonna talk about me next. I don't want other people to be put in danger go to a place that concerns me. Mm hmm. Hmm. You got quite a bothersome personality, don't you? <laughs> Not as much as you. See? Well, I'll withdraw if she's nominating herself. Not like I'm dying to be the guinea pig anyway. Zen. Thanks, Zen. Zen hands me an object that feels like it's made of hard rubber. And then he hands me the Cleone. It feels inorganic, not warm or cold. Will they really grow tentacles if I transplant this into me? Amazing. The image of the creatures we've run into so far crosses my mind, and then I almost hesitate. Aww. Okay then, let's transplant this Cleone thing. We need to prepare anything else? So, like, there's a message on the screen. Um, for first time use, a male and female adulterer is recommended. Adulterer? What? Mm, what? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll read it instead. Um... When, when transplanting Cleone for the first time, a male or female adult test subject is recommended. Each transplant features alignment and default settings will be set at once, so it's safer this way. Is what it says. Well, it's probably just a recommendation, so well, I wouldn't worry about it too much. What? Of course I'll worry, why wouldn't I? Naruto's probably right, but sometimes he can be a bit cold. No more like dry. Aww. We should do the transplant as an adult first, huh? I hope it doesn't ruin my nice figure. I crack a joke trying to put a lid on the anxiety creeping up inside me. Alright. Are, are we ready for some, uh, some hot tentacle action? Let's hope it ends better for us than it did for Rinko. Now, let's also go ahead and check what is the current state. All right, so two middle-aged, everyone else totally adult. We're good. No, nope, gonna go ahead and do this now. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Bill. Let's let's do it properly. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. I choose the Cleone transplant option in the menu, and the extend machine's vat opens once again. Come on now. You're really gonna go through with this, Minamo? Leave it to me. Come on, why the long face? There's nothing to worry about. I reply with all the positive energy I can muster, snuffing out the uneasy feeling inside. Uh... So, I just put the Cleone egg in here, right? Yeah! 
Try it, Minimo. <laughs> All right. There. The vats open like a cash register with a viscous liquid inside. I lean over to peek inside when I put the Cleone egg in it. And that's when it happens. Uh, what? No, why did you scream like that? What? <laughs> scream like me. <laughs> my notebook. I dropped my police ID notebook from my chest pocket. I must have forgotten to tie it closed. I'd normally be reprimanded for this. This is I try reaching into the vat. It slams shut, returning back into the extend machine. What? At least it didn't take her arm with it. Cash register vat pops open again as it plays a cheerful electronic sound. Look inside right away and grope around the liquid with both hands. But it's gone. No, 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 no. The Cleone egg and my notebook are both gone. <laughs> Maybe it's stuck somewhere inside the extend machine. No way. So what? There's no use for police ID in this world. Why are you so upset? Nah. But my photo. Huh? Photo? Oh. I... Will they be mad at me if I take the extend machine apart? Probably. I shake my head to expel the dangerous thoughts. That's right, a police officer doesn't let her personal affairs get in the way. I should be thinking about what I can do for others instead of worrying about my memorabilia. Let's do this. I'll worry about the notebook later. Next! What do I need to do next? Um... Hold on, let me check the screen. Have the subject enter the vat. Subjects under four feet in height cannot use Cleone due to safety concerns, even if a transplant is successful. Hmm, so if you're shorter than four feet, does that mean we can't use Cleone with a child's body? Hmm, we don't stay children due to the aging effect, but... What? Oh, what about Sachika? Hmm, are you... Okay, so I think you're dull enough. I wouldn't want you getting a transplant, though. Yay! Oh, good. I totally don't want to be left out. All right. Hmm, so I need to get in the machine now, right? I'm gonna take my clothes off, so can you boys leave? I'll leave the controls to Sachi. Yeah. Okay, I, uh, I wish you the best. I totally think I should be allowed to hang around, though, and, uh, and comment on your body the same way that you did when I was reborn as a child. Just putting that out there. Payback's a bitch. <laughs> what if you come out with a notebook sticking out of your body? Please don't even joke about that. Cleone Transplant. Cleone Transplant feature has been added to the Extend Machine. If you open the Cleone Transplant menu while your character is holding a Cleone, the Cleone will be registered automatically, allowing you to transplant it to a clone. So specifically... Okay, so we just make sure the character... Ink herself is the boss for this chapter. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Bill. I don't know how they would do that, so... Well... We don't know if our original selves are out there anywhere. Spend score and transplant Cleone to enable the use of Cleone. The two types of attack Cleone are point blank and AoE. Oh, nice. Support Cleone can heal or strengthen an ally. Some combinations of attack support Cleone may produce a special bonus effect. There are hints for finding these specific combinations which are hidden throughout the ruins. Try transplanting now. Oh yeah, our score from the last run. Well, we can definitely afford to buy our uh, level 5 difficulty now. Obtained a new Cleone. So we have Heavy Blow Jin. And nothing for support yet. So, low blunt type attack, uh, low blunt type damage attack. Targets, cursor target on front enemy. Let's do it. I'm not gonna drown, am I? I have no idea. Normally you come out of here after you've already been dead. Well, if I do, I guess they can just extend me again. Once I'm inside the vat, the drawer closes with a mechanical noise and I'm swallowed in darkness. 
The liquid solution begins flowing into the vat, adding to the fluid's volume. It eventually fills up past my nose and mouth. I hold my breath, but it's not gonna last long. So I am gonna drown. New Shigabane. News of all the oxygen in my lungs, my consciousness begins fading. Then, right as I'm about to lose consciousness completely. And this light. Oh man, I'm glad you made it out alive. But you don't look any different. Where's the Cleone? What? Stop staring so much, will you? You're embarrassing me. The vat opens and everyone gathers around me as I come to. There isn't a single wound in my body, but... The Cleone's probably in my left arm. I can sort of feel something there. Are you okay? It's like, how's it feel to have a Cleone inside you? Does it totally hurt? Yep. No pain so far. It really just feels like something's a little off. Like I'm wearing a ring or a bracelet or something. I'm not sure. So, I guess it worked. All right, we can now use the Cleone transplant. Well, oh, don't tell me trying out. Try making your tentacles come out. All right. Yeah, let me try that. Wait, how am I supposed to use Cleone anyway? Hmm. I'll try filling it to come out. <laughs> Is that all? I guess it won't hurt to try. I swallow hard, step outside the garage, then focus my will on my left arm. Well... Come out. Come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out! Come out, 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 come out! <laughs> A sharp pain runs through my arm and blue stars glitter. It's working! Ow. That seems unpleasant. My left arm rips open and blood pours from the wound. Countless tentacles emerge from the opening. It's a pretty disturbing sight. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Your arm's you. getting ripped open! Thank you for the fits, Claymore. <laughs> and Bill. Ouch. Ouch. Context. I'm way too preoccupied to answer Yo's scream and Sachi's cheers. And tentacles grow even longer, bind together, and form a bigger mess. It, it's like I'm being eaten from my arm! The pain itself isn't unbearable. There's nothing compared to the aging effect. What worries me more is it feels like something trying to take over my body from my left arm. Oh no, this is bad. It's too dangerous. Put it back for now, Miss Minamo. Put it back? How do I- Go back! I said go back! Go back! My thoughts must be reaching the Cleone. The tentacles slither apart then withdrawn to the open wound of my arm. Well. That seems like a wonderfully traumatic first effort. Um... I can see her absolutely failing to use it in a clutch in future. Are you okay? Oh. Yeah, I feel better now that the Cleone went back inside. Ah! This has to be CG or something. What's with our bodies and all this Cleone stuff? How can this be? The wound is gone. D did it heal back up when the tentacles withdrew? Mamoru's eyes widen. My left arm is cleanly healed, only leaving faint traces of blood where the wound was. Body horror for the whole family. Impossible. Cleone, the tentacle organisms. I've never seen such a thing, even with cases involving parasites. My, my. It's been one surprise after another since coming to Garage Island. Uh -huh. I made a thanks to your voice, Dr. Mamoru. I don't know what would have happened if you didn't call out to me. That's my love. I guess you could call it a premonition of love. I had a bad feeling, like a life was about to be lost. I wish you would have called it a doctor's instinct or something instead. Dr. Ichio. I'm glad you're okay, but Dr. Ichio, can you give Minimo a checkup just in case? <laughs> Very well. Better to be safe than sorry. Uh, I, 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 I appreciate it. Good. Well, thanks for being the guinea pig officer. Now we can all transplant Cleone without worries. We're headed to the door inside Marshall Garden Tower, right? We can practice on goats along the way. 
Seems a bit unstable right now. You want it going out of control and attacking your own group. It's fine. Yeah, I think I got the hang of it, so I'll control it better next time. Excuse me. Uh, don't overwork yourself, Minimo. <laughs> Thanks for worrying about me, Haruto. No. Oh, no, no problem. I need to cool it a bit. I'm getting a little too worked up. The joy from surviving a dangerous experiment, the excitement from controlling the Cleone, and most of all, the sense of accomplishment from being useful to the group. There's a mix of all those emotions inside me. My heart must have beat like a drum through the stethoscope. Dr. Maru was surprised, and then smiled. Oh, now we can use them while exploring. Alright, using Cleone. Ooh, character with Cleone transplanted can enter Cleone mode by holding X. Well, in Cleone mode, Cleone can be used without a cooldown time by pressing X. This is going to be interesting. Change the color of her eyes. Interesting. However, using Cleone will increase the user's corruption. Using a Cleone while in danger state will cause the Cleone to go on a rampage. Sleeping in bedrooms or resting will reduce corruption. However, while in danger state, corruption cannot be lowered until they are extended. Okay, so if they reach danger state, they're going to have to die. The number of Cleone uses per lifetime is limited, so plan out their usage carefully. Interesting. I think I'm going to go grab the rest from our uh, warehouse. And drop off a few things as well. Let's uh, unload everything and then we'll just uh, kind of reassess and suit up. I also want to go ahead and pass through and see if we can't um, make enough gear for everyone to be kind of kitted up to current standard without us having to trade anything around. I know CLZ has a chaos worship, uh, worship spreading corruption in his wake. I mean, I'm not denying it. What to say about corruption? Uh, using the Cleone will basically cause us to generate corruption. Uh, we can rest to reduce it, but if we reach a certain point, we won't be able to reduce it until we die and come back. And if it goes completely corrupt, it'll go on a rampage. Papa Nurgle loves you. Yeah. <laughs> My, uh, my Nexus team, since it was status-based, the uh, the only text is you can apply a little bit of text to your uh, guild card in case people uh, street pass you. All it says on mine is just Papa Nurgle. Potato salad. I will never look at potato salad the same way again. I didn't like it in the first place, and now I sure as hell don't trust it. I know we had one. That's weird. I know we had more. Where are they? Because we had two. I don't think it ought to, or two extra. We, we had three total. I don't think it auto registered them. Because there's only the one on the list. Then again, it might be that because that specifically was in tutorial mode and we couldn't pick anyone else. Let me see if it registered the other ones. What is that for me, Wolfenbach? <laughs> I'm sorry. I uh, I seem to have accidentally entered a tunnel and hung up. There we go. Okay, there are other ones in the list now. We have the Demon Fist, Hirotsugu. Uh, this should be the one we've seen on kind of the uh, the one arm, the, the first creature we met, basically, the ones that carry something on their arm. And then under support, we have Regenerant, which actually has a heal. Medium level corruption for both of those. Man, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, do I want to go ahead and stick some more in? Well, let's, let's save it until we see what uh, we're getting ourselves into. Experiment with the one we got. 
The question is, do we want to drop 30k and dial this fucker up to difficulty 5? Because I gotta say... What's this? I'm kind of feeling like we should. Oh, I still need a friggin' partition. Though to be fair, even if I got a partition, I'd probably wind up using the bedrooms first and foremost, because uh, bunking together to increase bond levels, that's long-term gain. Doesn't leave us that low for extends, we still have 14k left over. So it costs us 30k, well, 13k left over. 30k to get up to this, enemies become murderous, there are hazards all over the friggin' place. Uh, way more rewards. Different, looks like different types of Cleone potentially as well. Where do you get partitions? Uh, we've just been finding them in dungeons. I don't feel like we found very many in the last one, though. I'm pretty sure we gutted most of that dungeon, though. Yeah, in the end, I'm pretty sure we did most of that dungeon. When's the first giveaway? Not sure. What is the uh, what is the listed time of release on Steam right now for the game? The weird bunny things, the boars, and that necktie-wielding asshole. In two hours? Alright, so we'll probably do our first giveaway in uh, about an hour. Oops, my finger slipped. Well, it looks like it's now free to change difficulty down. Since we paid all the way up. Oh, no it's not. Okay. It's free to pay or to go down, but you gotta pay again to go up. So it's not quite an unlock. Gotta save before checking that. Remember, save early, save often. Oops, not that often. Watch the goat kick my ass. Difficulty 5 goat just blows you away. Alright, let's see the state of gear before we actually uh, decide to go in and, and do anything. Trying to avoid spending driftwood. That's kind of where all our good weapons are coming from. I'm going to do another cardboard apron because it is better armor than what most people have. That's what I'm talking about. That's a lot of monkey hair. Nice and sturdy. I like it. There. It's let's start using it. Now. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and sturdy. That's a lot of rope. This is well made. Eureka! That's what I'm talking. That's it. Let's make some soap as well. Let's make some antidotes. Oh right. Need total more than four for crafting. Can we sharpen the saws? Haven't found a way to do that yet. I have a feeling it's actually tied to a um, a higher upgrade on the workshop. All right, as far as gear goes. Yeah, we're gonna need, wait. Something's missing. I'll take that for another weapon, but... We're shy of fist. That's not good. I 
think we might have to uh, we might have to take a little trip. I wonder. I wonder if our stuff will still be there. I think, yeah, it's Re it's Rio stuff. I was gonna say. I think we're gonna have to go back in there. Gives us a chance to test out what the uh, level five stuff is gonna be like, though. Also gives us a chance to find out how long stuff persists. So let's go ahead and double check on cooking because time's gonna Whoa. pass, and then we're gonna be able to cook some more anyways. So. Some goat steak. Not a lot of rock salt, though. Oh, look! Potato salad! <laughs> look, potato salad so much! It's done! Anyone want seconds? There, and some butter potatoes as well. I don't like it. Anyone else want to eat it? Well, I guess he's not going to want to, uh... to make those. Or eat those. Hey, actually, anyone die? No, but we infected uh, Minimo with a parasite. Also, we turned the difficulty up to uh, five. All right, let's uh, let's make a run and test it. Let's uh, let's also find out whether or not Rio's stuff is still persisting. Be a good time to find out whether that stuff I goes away like between uh, chapters. I PTSD to potato salad traumatic stress disorder CLZ stress. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Maybe we should update the stress emote and it's just potato salad. Oh, hang on, we got someone's uh, extra 